Good Monday morning. I'm meteorologist Ted Schmidt. Loving the sunshine today. What a way to start the week. I mean, it really is easy to start the week when you have weather like this. A little foggy. The fog is lifting. This is just a few minutes past 7.30 here on this uh, Monday morning as we look live, uh, at least at this moment, uh, with our Gwaltney Group camera from Assisi Heights. And a, a gem of a day really shaping up for us. We start the day in the low 50s. We are on our way to the upper 70s. A ton of sun, nice little southeast breeze, and uh, probably... For all intents and purposes, uh, yeah, the, the best day of the week, just because of the lack of clouds, lack of rain chances. That's not to say we don't want the rain, because we do need the rain. It's just saying today is the most pleasant day to be out and about. And certainly hope everybody does get a chance to do that, because we're looking at a day filled with sunshine and some uh, kind of June-like warmth. I mean, temperatures uh, were mild over the weekend. We got the low 70s both Saturday and Sunday. We had some thunderstorms. That was interesting Saturday evening. Um, but now things have gotten a little quieter here this morning. This is going to be the driest day of the week, I think, at this point. As, uh, again, we are looking at the uh, upper 70s and uh, a pretty decent start to the week. Southeast winds up to 15 miles per hour this afternoon. 77, sunset 832. What a great looking afternoon. Right now it's 54 degrees at the 7 o'clock hour here in Rochester. We've had fog that is lifting at one point. Visibility about 6.30 was less than a quarter of a mile. It has gotten a lot better in the, in the, in the past hour. Uh, dew point 53. Now, if you're keeping track at home, what does that mean? Dew point 53 means there's a, a decent, I'd say a moderate amount of, of um, moisture in the atmosphere, or at least for May standards. I mean, in the middle of summer, you'd wish for something this dry. It'd be nice and crisp and comfortable, not humid. But compared to where we've been recently, there's a lot more moisture available in the atmosphere. And that, over time, will build in, and that's going to... Uh, lead to the focus of rain tr chances in our area. So we will have that uh, chance coming forward over the next few days. 54 right now, Rochester, 52, Mason City, Winona 54. Satellite radar, skies are clear and quiet. We saw some of that fog and the haze and some of the stratus clouds. Those will continue to lift. Showers are going out of the south, parts of Iowa, parts of Missouri, Illinois, all dealing with rain. High pressure, meanwhile, just east of us has been with us the past 24 hours. That has brought us some very pleasant weather. As we know, Sunday is turned out to be a gem of day, but uh, we are going to see some slightly more unsettled weather headed our way with more doses of uh, clouds and showers from the south. And watch those over the next couple of days on Futurecast. Today, some sunshine, a southeast breeze around 15 miles per hour this afternoon. Helps us reach 77 tonight, mid 50s overnight with a lighter southeast wind. And then tomorrow, a little more of a brisk breeze, a little extra cloud cover. In fact, very little sunshine tomorrow. Maybe very early there's a chance, but otherwise mostly cloudy. Chance of spotty showers by mid morning. Afternoon looks even more unsettled. Periods of light rain across the map. And then through tomorrow night into Wednesday, another chunk of energy get, comes in from the south. That will uh, lead to some extra clouds, showers, a few rumbles of thunder on Wednesday. And Thursday, probably the wettest day of the week with another disturbance that comes in from the south. It's going to be a breezier, more a slightly more humid day with some thunder then. A severe weather risk looks low right now, but we'll have to keep an eye on the late uh, work week and perhaps on Sunday again as a cold front comes in uh, for maybe the potential for some severe storms, but at this point, very uh, small chance uh, moving forward. Today, 77 Rochester, 74 Mesa City, mostly sunny southeast winds up to 15 miles per hour. Uh, that's almost 10 degrees above the seasonal average, 69 is today's average height. Last week we were below average most of the week. Today we start a week of incredible warmth. Then we over the weekend we were just a couple degrees above normal. This whole week we're going to be way above that for the most part. 55 tonight, partly cloudy light southeast breeze. Tomorrow showers 69. That'll be the coolest day of the week. Uh, an unsettled day with often on very light rain. Southeast winds up to 15 miles per hour. Wednesday and Thursday scattered storms. Those will be the two grayest to wettest I think days of the week. Uh, still not a ton of rain. Half inch, maybe an inch at most over the next five days total cumulatively. That's not much rain but deficit now of uh, more than four inches. We take what we can get at this point. Uh, that's the deficit for the entire year, that is. For this month, the deficit is about 1.3 inches. Uh, 81, the expected high by Friday with some sun and maybe a stray thunderstorm or two in the afternoon. Seven-day forecast, there are those rain chances over the weekend, often on showers and thunderstorms. Best chance overall Sunday with the weak cold front that comes in. 70s for highs behind that front for early next week with an isolated chance of isolated storms next Monday and perhaps next Tuesday again. Then we dry things out for that in the middle and lighter portion of next week as we get closer to the holiday weekend. But it does not look like uh, we're going to see a huge change in temperature. So the head, moving down the road in the 70s, I think will still be pretty common. So some pretty mild stuff moving uh, down the road beyond this week into next week as we then approach 
Memorial Day. Still early to ta talk about that specifically, but right now no b major pattern change in temperatures, so it looks like we'll hold on to some of this uh, mild stuff down uh, toward the holiday uh, time frame at the end of the month. Meantime, today, enjoy that beautiful sunshine here for our Monday. We'll see you right back here tomorrow for Tuesday.